the Romans Romans chapter 8 verse 2 says, talk about two laws. It says the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus has set us free of the law of sin and death. There are basically two laws. One law is governed by Jesus. The other law is governed by Satan. The law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus is, is governed by the Lord Jesus Christ. Then the law of, of sin and death by Satan. And do you know, listen, today I'm not just sharing, sharing someone. I'm sharing a person. You know that God doesn't just do law. He is actually law. God is love personified. When you see God, you don't say God is loving. No, God is love. You will surprise the financial doors. The huge, humongous financial doors that will open to you when you begin to obey the love command. The law of law. There are different laws in the Bible. Okay? And if we if we if I may if I have some time I've shared about, about law, law of confession, you know, I, I spoke about law of gravity, whatever goes up must come down. And it cannot float. Okay? And here we are looking at the most important law in the Bible. This message is the is the, the most important message you can ever hear. The most important message. The law of love. And I'm believing God that as, I, as I'm here today, as I share with you, I will also partake in the good meal. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Because see, this is one area you are going to have to check in your life for the rest of your life. We are going to, for the rest of your life, you will need this. You need this message because they are, you are going to be this area. You are going to be challenged in this area. And 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 when when you see you see the word of God is spiritual, is spirit food, is spirit food, faith food. When you feed on the word of God, you are growing spiritually as you feed on the word of God. And what you feed. With any, any part of your life that you feel will grow. What you starve will die. So if, if, for instance, if you, if you are used to, uh, maybe the kind of diet, physical diet now, let's assume you are always drinking, uh, you know, palm oil and then b- butter. You are always taking plenty of margarine, you know, in two days you finish your margarine and all that. And then, for example, I'm joking against someone and you have a challenge with pimples. So some can take it and there's no problem, it doesn't affect them. But each time you take margarine, you see pimples arise. And then you take authority. And then you go and take margarine again. The pimples, pimples come again. Now, it, you, you may have to check your speed. Is this pimples, does, does it line up with the margarine I'm eating? And if it lines up with it, maybe I'm taking too much of it. I think I need to pipe it, pipe it low. And then you stop margarine for one week and the pimple disappears. You, the, the more you feed yourself on that, that diet, the more you see manifestation of this thing boil, different, this boiling on different places of, of your body. So, so what you feed grows. What you starve dies. Is that simple enough for you? The same thing with spiritual food. See, there are areas of our lives that we feed on. This is a church where we preach faith. The love of God and being spirit led. And, and for, for some times now, uh, we have zeroed so much on faith and faith and faith and faith. And you know that faith cannot work without love. Bible says faith works by love. And so what, what I want us to zero in now as a church is to focus on our love work. Understanding the significance of this love, love. You know, for some time, I'm reading the Bible, my wife, we read the Bible, we read the Old Testament, we read the Old Testament, 
And then if you read Old Testament, and you see most of the things in Old Testament, you see you know, Leviticus, Exodus, Numbers, you see, you see different sacrifices, and this one has to be killed, this one has to be killed, they have to kill two and well, the morning they kill an animal, you know, an animal, at night they kill an innocent animal, they have to share blood, blood share, blood share, blood share, blood share, because God is so holy that if you touch a dead person, you have to go somewhere and stay for until, until one, one day before, before you can be cleansed. If you if you if you, if, you, if somebody has a leprosy and touches you, you are unclean for some time. Is the holiness of God is so amplified as you read the, the, the Old Testament. You see the different laws. There are so many laws in the Old Testament. This law, that law, this law, that law. You shall not kill, you shall not murder. You shall not, there, are, there are kinds of laws. So many laws in the Old Testament. And when you get to the Old Testament, it's only, only one single law. By the time you look at all the... So now you're reading, so now you're reading the Old Testament. You, wow! You see, you, you won't get tired looking at what they have to do. Feast of weeks, feast of unleavened bread, Passover lamb. This one must be key. This one must be, uh, must be spotless. This one must be spotless. This one must, if it is a spot, it has a spot, you cannot, you cannot bring it before God. This one is, you have to kill this one and shed his blood, sprinkle the blood and everything. So many things have to be done. And where in the old man would have to kill an animal? Me and you just have to be such chasing goat all over the place. You got to say, you can bring goat here. Those who, those, who, those who don't have gold as a roof, how to get fifty pigeon? Who do not, cannot afford to buy gold? You must. You can No matter what you can, you have, you have to bring something because you have sin already, and it has to be cleansed. But just reading those other I men, just gratitude in my heart, what Jesus did for us. He did everything. He did the job. He fulfilled the law, and then he gave us me and you one law. The law of love. The law of love. And that's why we need to understand this. Because if we feed on the law of love, if me and you feed on the law of love, then our law will become stronger. When I fed you on faith, fear disappeared. I fed you faith, 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 faith. Your fear's gone. No more fear. No more fear of disease. No more fear of accident. No more fear of premature death. No more. See, because what you feed on, you grow in. And I realize that we need to feed on love. Because I found myself wanting some areas of love myself. And I realize that we as a church need to walk in love. And we need to keep grasping this love, love. Very important. You know, Romans chapter 8 verse 2 says, it's spoke about two laws. It says the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus has set us from the law of sin and death. There are basically two laws. One law is governed by Jesus. The other law is governed by Satan. The law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus is, is governed by the Lord Jesus Christ. Then the law of, 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 of sin and death Sin and death by Satan. And do you know, listen now, today I'm not just sharing, sharing someone, I'm sharing a person. You know that God doesn't just do love, He is actually love. God is love personified. God is love personified. When you see God, you don't say God is loving. No, God is love. See, Satan, Satan is selfishness personified. Say selfishness personified. I share with you, I say faith works by love. You, if you take away love from faith, faith can't work. You have any that? Faith works by love. And then I shared about, I, shared, I told you, I said, this law of sin and death that's organized by, 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 I mean, the, the government by Satan, and which works on selfishness. If you check the devil very well, and you look at the history of Satan in the Bible, you see that it's, it's the most selfish spirit. Let me put it that way. It's selfishness personified. Satan himself is selfish. When you see Satan, you see, you, do, you see Satan, Satan, you can say Satan, synonyms, selfishness. Do you get it now? You see how he felt. I will, I will, I will, I will, I will. The five I wish, I will, I will, I will. Everything about himself. But God is love. 
And so we have said, for God so loved the world that he gave. God gave. God is a giver. The devil is a taker. Satan is a taker. Okay? God made man, Adam, Adam, and Adam in his image, and gave him all the good things on the garden. Satan came and took the power from them. How did he, how did he, how did he do it? He deceived them so that the, the, the woman, being, Adam and Eve, began to focus on themselves. If you take this food, you will be like God. So selfishness, selfishness. I want to be like God. I want to be like God. The loss of the eyes, loss of the uh, bread of life. They, because of selfishness, Satan sold and downloaded selfishness into mankind. That's why you see, you need to just go out and see traffic. Maybe if there, anytime there's no traffic warning, or maybe the light, light is not working, traffic lights not working. What is what is it? Chaos. What happened? Chaos is chaos. Because it's, the whole world is governed by selfishness, it's ruled by fear. Everybody wants to get what they want. What they want. When the light is showing, it's not showing. There's a power, power outage, no traffic light is showing, there's no policeman to stop you. What, what happened? Everybody put them out. Why? Because you see, that selfishness is a driving force. It's a driving, it's like an engine. It's a driving force. It's, it's, it's the nature of Satan. It's a driving force. It was, it was, it was, you see, you see, when you have, like, you have, you have close in, in service and there's traffic, most people hardly even give room for other, other Christians to go. How much less to put another one again? Are you getting what I'm saying now? What I'm trying to share is this is that. He, 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 on, and what we are doing by God's way this time is we, we, you know, beam the such line and we are trusting the anointing of the Holy Ghost to begin to go into our inside and begin to deal with those areas of our life and feed us strongly so that our money, money can start working. We can start enjoying our family. We can start, we can start enjoying fellow Christians. And guess what happened? Whatever miracle we are believing God for, it just comes effortlessly. Because the devil is using this, this selfishness to steal money from us, to steal, uh, to steal, to steal our health, to steal, to steal, steal our children, to steal from, from our, our spouses. His selfishness is a very, very powerful tool in Satan's hands. But I'm trusting God in faith that me and you during this series, we move higher. Amen. We move higher. Amen. We move higher. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. We are going to operate on the higher firepower. Amen. Higher firepower. Amen. And they say that can't get us down. Listen, listen. listen. Look, look at Proverbs 4. Verse 20, 20 to 23. This is very important. My son, give attention to my words. Incline your ear to my sins. Hmm? Verse 21, 22. Do not let them depart from your eyes. Keep them in the midst of your heart. Heart, 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 heart. And then verse 22, for they are like those who find them and hell to all their flesh. This is the word of God now. Look at 23. 23. That's what I'm going on. Keep your heart. I want to, I want to look at what to, 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 to go. Keep your heart with all legions. For out of it springs the issues of this we are me and you need to put our put put our, all the chains, all the all the armor, armored chair. Uh, tongues, all the protection we need, we need to guard our hearts. We need to guard our heart. And you see, the gosh, I believe just recently showed me some things. I, I'm saying, I showed some, some things about my own heart that was not right. The Holy Spirit opened my heart to see some things in my heart that was not right. In my love walk. And do you know the good thing about your heart condition? You can't change it straight away. You don't have to stay for five years where you can change your heart condition. Your heart condition can be adjusted when God opens your eyes to any area of your life where you have been deceived. Guess what happened? You are equipped for the Holy Ghost to change it. And according to surely. My heart, I saw my area of my heart that wasn't right. And you know what? The, by the help of the Holy Spirit, I'm addressing it radically. Radically addressing it. And I'm going to share that with some of the other I'm addressing it radically. Once op- God opens my eyes to see any, any area, any light. No, I, I want to please Him. Faith pleases God. But faith can't work without, without love. Are you aware of that? 
So I, I want to please God. I want to be on the cutting edge in ministry. I want to be on the cutting edge in my, in my, in my, in my, my, my marriage. I want to be on the cutting edge in my, in my, my family. Any area where God has placed me, I want to be sharp like a razor. And it's with me checking my heart. Because from my heart comes every issue of life. It is from your heart that, that, that healing comes. Are you aware of that? Divine healing is not physical. Divine healing is not medical. Divine healing is not physical. It's not physical. It is spiritual. Divine healing comes from the heart. Divine prosperity is from the heart. Are you aware of that? I'm talking about divine prosperity. Not stealing money and doing rule. No. What it comes to divine prosperity is coming from the heart. Is a God of heart, not religious, because out of it comes spirit in your life. Do you know that if you need healing in your eyes, if your eye, if people are anybody having cancer of the eye and they need healing, they need divine healing and the cancer of the eye, it is on your heart. The issue of life that healing will proceed on your heart and go to the eyeballs and reorganize the eyeballs and yak up the cancer. So if me and you need to guard anything, it's our heart. We need to guard our heart against offense. You don't gotta argue against, against bitterness. You don't gotta argue against strife. We are zeroing in on those areas, specifically during this series, to know how, what is God's perspective. And we're gonna go, go to John. Let me show you, let me, let's, let's begin from John. John 6, John 13. John 13 verse 34. Okay. A new commandment, what? I give to you. That you love one another as I have loved you, that you also love one another. This is Jesus speaking there. Jesus speaking there. He said, I'm giving you a new commandment. In other words, every commandment in the Old Testament, you can just wrap it in one. Thou shalt not murder. Thou shalt not lie. Thou shalt not convert your neighbor's wife. Thou shalt not do this. Thou shalt not commit adultery. Thou shalt not do this. Thou shalt not do this. Not, uh, this, this. All the thou shalt not. Thou shalt not. Thou shalt not. Thou shalt not. You just put them aside, and if you can keep one commandment of law, you have made it. Because if I love you, if I love you, I'm not going to sleep with your wife. Are you aware of that? If I love you, no matter how beautiful your wife is, and all of us, if, if you are a man, you see, if you see a beautiful woman, you know a beautiful woman. Is that not so? Yeah. Eh, but, you say, but you can convert the woman, look at the woman, but you now have to say, no, because I love this person so much, I'm not going to sleep with, I'm not going to sleep with this person. Eh? Is that not so? You can say, well, I just couldn't help you. She's so beautiful. And I just couldn't help you. No, 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 no. It's, uh, you see, you are, you say, step out of love. Why do you want to say, step out of love? Just like, I mean, I stayed with a, a woman, a married woman, and then the old man came around, came, came, you know, came after me when I, I, when I was a non-believer. I did it when I was a non-believer. I didn't know anything, but this that. But I did, I don't know, I was a non-believer. I slept with her. She was beautiful to me. And I just couldn't resist her. And I had to sleep with her. And then we are two of us in agreement. And I said with that. And then the thing came up after five years. Then it leaked. Yeah, you go yourself, my friend. You love me. How do you sleep, my wife? I said, I'm sorry. You see, it, 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 it doesn't, there is no way anybody can explain sleeping with your, sleeping with your spouse, your wife, your, somebody else's wife. And then, and then you say you love the person. I think you know that one. Or somebody committing for nothing on another person. See, 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 the, the world system has already bastardized love. They are, it's bastardized. People look at love as feelings. Feel. I don't feel. We feel it for each other. Then we now sleep together. No. Love is not feelings. It's spiritual. Say it's spiritual. Yes. Say love is spiritual. Yes. See the powerful things in the Bible that you can ever think of. They are spiritual things. Love is spiritual. Faith is spiritual. The spirit of faith. Faith is spiritual. Grief is spiritual. You, are you, are you, are you, are you what I'm saying now? These are, these are spiritual, these are spiritual, deep issues are spiritual. That's why God says you guard your heart. Because from there come issues of life. Spiritual things are of heart. Feelings are not spiritual. Feelings are not spiritual. Feelings can come and go. You can have close husband just now and feel like you don't, you don't you're not married. You're still married. Hey, you that? Just go, just go, just call it like crazy. I don't feel, I don't feel, I feel, I don't feel, I don't feel I'm not even married to you. You are still married. Are you following? Are you getting what I'm saying now? It doesn't matter how you feel. Because feeling come and go. The same, the same person that you say you feel, I'm like, and then maybe when he changes the world, and then gives you a group, put money, put big money in your account. <laughs> then you, you feel married now. <laughs> uh, you feel married all of a sudden. Feelings come and go. So love is not feelings. Say love is not feelings. Love is not feelings. See, people mistake loss for love. 
Love is deeper, it's spiritual. And see, God's kind of like love is agape. Agape is, that, is, this, is what we call selfless love. Say selfless love. Selfless, selfless love. That means not, it's not about you now, it's about somebody else. Praise God. This is serious now. Are you, are you getting what I'm saying this morning, church? It's not about you, it's about another person. Let, look at the second verse of that, of that, of that scripture. Verse 35. Do this all we know that you are my disciples if you have love for one another. You know that the emblem of you being a disciple of Jesus Christ is working in love. Are you aware of that? I don't know that every born again believer, the day you go born again, God has put in you the seed to love. You have seed in your inside, your spirit. In you, the day you go born again, you have, you have said, the Lord, what has been shared and brought in the heart by the Holy Spirit. You got the, the, you got the seed to walk in love. Then you go born again. We have, you, have let, you, have to, you have to let it loose. That's where we're going now. We're going to let, see, so, so if, if God is love, listen now. If God is love, the first step is this. If God is love, then you must, you must believe and trust the love that God has for you. What does it? Good. And then you must accept that love. Say, say it. Amen. When you accept the love of God, you're like that clear my daughter shared just now. About knowing your identity in Christ, your true identity in Christ. That God loves you, that you are God's beloved, and I don't even, I don't do you know, I don't know. God knew you and still love you. I don't know if you can, I just said any powerful. I don't, I don't, I'm not sure if you catch it. Eh? God knew that you are, you will make mistake. He knew you will mess up, and still loves you. Huh? Are you aware that? Let me show you an example in, 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 in Luke, Luke 22. See, see, look at Luke, 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 Luke 22. Luke, Luke 22, verse 31 or 32. And the Lord said, Simon, Simon. In this, Satan has asked, you can put your name there. Eh? Satan has asked for you that he may sift you as wheat. But look at what God said. But I have prayed for you that your faith should not fail. And when you have returned, it's not from where? Where are you going from? Huh? You don't want small backsliding like you do. When you are returned to me, send your brethren. In other words, you are going to leave you sometimes. Huh? <laughs> are you getting what I'm saying now? Can you imagine looking at, looking at uh, maybe uh, your spouse or maybe your spouse, you know that he's going to cheat on you. And say, I know that you're going to cheat on me. I know you're going to cheat on me and sleep with that, sleep with that girl there and everything. But I've already prayed for you. When you finish sleeping with her, Come back. And <laughs> ah, come back. You know, and encourage others who have, who have that similar problem. Eh? Can, can you imagine that? You know, we can't relate to that because it's strange to us. But do you know that how God sees us? You see, if we, if I say, for God so loved the word I gave. See, God knew my lifestyle. He knew that I would mess up Still, the women in the city. But while I was doing that, even cursing God, God was doing everything to women back to him. The law of God is straight to the world. Because the world, the, the world system will reward you based on your performance. Are you aware of that? He said, Performance will reward you. You know, if you go to school now, you, you, somebody come first, somebody come last. Eh? It's, not, it, 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 it's based on performance. Eh? If you do well, you work harder, you can come first. Eh? You don't work at that, you go last. Eh? He said, but how, what, what you work for? But God's law is not based on what you do. It's based on what Jesus did. And do you catch it? Do you catch it? If you can get this thing, listen, listen, listen. listen. If you can get this thing, tell your neighbor, listen, tell your neighbor. If you, tell, tell your neighbor if you can get this thing. Satan so cannot condemn you. I, I, because when Satan can not condemn you, you got boldness. Huh? Condemn you. Can't condemn you. 
So you must first receive that love. That God's love for you is not based on what you do or what you will still do. No. It's based on what Jesus did. Are you getting what I'm saying? It's, a, it's what Jesus did. Not what, you see, your, 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 your work can't take you to heaven. Your good works, your good works, your performance cannot take you to heaven. People are saying, hey, make I make heaven. Make I, I go try, make I make heaven. You can't make it. So try. Rest on God. Rest on what Jesus did. Tell the Lord, faith is the rest. You see, many people are trying to go to heaven by works. Eh? This is the certain church. Some people are so walking, they are, they are walking everything. Maybe if I do this thing in the church, if I, let me come and do sanctuary keeper, maybe I go to heaven. Maybe if I do this, I go to heaven. Maybe if I do this. It is, they are trying to get to heaven by works. No. It's not by works of righteousness, but by his grace alone. It's not by works of righteousness, by his grace, by his grace alone. That you are complete in Christ. And so, if me and you can receive the love of God and accept the love of God and know who we are in Christ as born again believers, then it becomes easier for me to give for me and you to give love to people. Did you catch it? Some of you didn't catch it. Let me let me let me repeat, let me, let me repeat it. If you receive the love of God for you, if you receive the love of God for you and you accept the love of God for you, then it's easier for you to give that love to somebody else. You cannot give what you don't have. Are you aware of that? Yes, if I come to your house and say, okay, uh, come, uh, Kingsley, give me, give me 10 million. I say, go to, go to I say, Kingsley, 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 I want Kingsley to give me 10 million. Kingsley, say, okay, sir. Let's do that. The same thing with love. If you don't receive the love of God and walk in it, you can't give it to anybody. When you receive the love of God, listen now. This is very important. When you receive the love of God, you have you begin to trust His love for you. Have you ever had anybody who loves you? I mean, don't maybe the human beings that truly really loves you. Maybe your parents, you have grown up, maybe it's parental love, of course. No, it's not, that's not love of God anyway. It's just parental love. It's a kind of love. Okay? Kind of love is a, this is my baby. Is your own baby. Uh, the two of them are playing with one toy. Is it, you collect somebody's toy. Mm, baby. Baby, 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 baby. That's not God's love. That's it. That's like animals. They love, animals love their yeah, yeah, animals love their own baby more than other people's baby. You know what I'm saying? If I uh, watch a lot of wildlife, sometimes you see you see a lion, lion will go and the other the other a lion will kill the other uh, the babies of other lions that that he didn't father. He didn't father them. That means, see, the lion, they want to put perfectly their genes. So the one, he, he, the one, the woman, the, the female lion that they had sex with and produced, that's his, that's his own baby. The other, you bring babies on other ones, other lion, other lion, that is not his own baby, he knows to kill him. You know that baby? This is not my gene. He wants to keep his gene one. Human love is not God's love. My mother, it's my mother, my mother, my father, mother, mother. Yeah, they are, those are good things, but it's not God's love. Are you aware of that? It's not the love of God. Human love is just good to. It's, I'm not saying it's bad to love your baby. I think you get what I'm saying now. There's, if you don't love a baby, you're not going to. Some of them, will not, some of us, never do. Maybe tell them to send them to school, pay money for their listen. We get what I'm saying. I'm sorry, it's not, not wrong with that one. Don't don't feel guilty because you love your baby. Hmm? But it's not the love of God because this love of baby. Other, other people's baby, they look, they look like poo poo, near your own. And God, God loves them equally. Are you aware of that? Are you, are you a general sinner? <laughs> so, so what I'm trying to say is that the, you see, love, the love of God is trusting in the love of God. It's so important that it, it, it will, he, it will help you against condemnation. I give us, I, I was asking you a question. I say, have you ever been loved by somebody? I love my wife. I love my wife so much. And she has trusted to, to a large degree my love for her. Okay? To the degree that she trusts me, she knows that I will never beat her. I you heard that. I, why? I've not beaten her before. And I don't, I, there's no tendency along that line. Eh? 
Let, let, me, let me give example. If I, if, my, if I come home and I'm talking, and my wife's talking, and I do my like this, maybe I'm trying to start. You know, you know, you know, you know what? You know, you know why would I, why would I not do that? He knows that doing my hand like this one doesn't mean anything because I'm not going to beat her. Are you for, are you getting what I'm saying? She has trusted me that I've never used this hand against her. So lifting my hands up, maybe I'll just, maybe maybe I'll, you think I want to share the lawyer or, 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 or <laughs> there is no tendency along that line. So the trust is there that this man won't beat me, can't beat me. Do, are you getting what I'm saying now? When we trust the love of God, that God cannot harm us. Are you getting what I'm saying now? God can never harm you. He can never harm you. And God can never put sickness on your body. Are you aware of that? We can never put sickness in your body. And if any person that puts sickness in your body, God looking for to remove it. I'm staying here so that you can, if me and you can grasp that love of God for us. We will leave this place today knowing that God lost me. God lost me. Yes, I may not have money in my pocket right now. But God loves me. Because he loves me, I know that my God shall supply all my name according to his glory by Christ because he loves me. He loves me. You see, my, my, whatever my wife needs, unless it's not within my power. Unless it's not within my power, I'll do it for her. Because of commitment, I'm committed to her. And if my wife loves somebody or likes something, automatically I like it. Even though I may not like it before, but when she's like it, I start liking it. Because what am I doing? I'm transferring that love I have for her to that thing she likes. Do you get what I'm saying? I'm saying that you can understand the human human love because you might see human beings physically. But see, God is invisible. Even though it's invisible, He loves you unconditionally. Listen very well now. And so, in the same way, God wants to extend that love of oh, to somebody else. Go back to John, where we were just now, 13 now. Back up to that 13 again. I'm going to show you again and in, in light of what I just said now and see whether you, get, you catch it. Go, go, go back to John, John chapter 13, uh, and verse 34. That's where we read. Okay, let's go back there. See, look at look at this. He said, A new command I give to you that you love one another as I have loved you. The number one people that you owe unconditional love are born again believers. You are going to care for the unbelievers. You are going to care for them. I, 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 I'm not there yet. But just, let me just do this one. We, you, you first and foremost is the born, fellow born again believers. When someone is born again, I, I, I don't know about, you know, we, 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 we love our children, me and my wife love our children, and we don't want them to have issues amongst themselves. We want them to work in cooperation with one another because we give back to them together. Huh? We don't want, I don't, I don't have any problem once your children will be fighting each other. Or maybe, maybe one child is fighting, and then you, and then you, because you prefer this one, but this one is more well behaved. The one that's, you know, you know, you have take this one, take the take knife, I'm going to hit him by the stomach. How many friends do that kind of thing? They won't do that kind of thing. Eh? God loves his children so much. Now, don't, don't say that he loves the world. God loves the world. That's why he gives Jesus. Are you aware of that? He loves the world. But he loves his children more than the people of the world. I don't know if you can write your right now. Go to Galatians. Go to Galatians. If we get it, I'm going to catch it. In Jesus' name, because we can do all things through Christ's system. In Galatians' system. Therefore, as we have opportunity, let us do good to all. You see, all there. But especially, say especially, those, those who are of the household of faith. Huh? If a woman you need money outside, and then a born again believer needs money inside, who do, who do give money first? So, the born again believer is of the household of faith. So, the priority, God's priority, listen now, God's priority are his children. Then the unbelievers. 
I don't know whether do, do you catch this thing I'm saying? God's priorities are his children. And the unfortunate is that many many people, many is it devil has deceived many Christians that the people believe that God loves them, loved them when they were unbelievers. But now that they are believers, God doesn't like them again. Huh? When you are unbeliever, you mess up, God loves you. Now that you are a Christian and you mess up, you make a mistake, you now think that God doesn't love you again. So you now want to you want to make him to love you. You can't do it. Tell him you can't do it. You can't make God make God love you. He already loves you. Huh? Let's look at 35, and that's what we're doing now. Look at the first 35. Want to go? By this all, all, all we know that you are my disciples if you love one another. Who is he always talking about? Eh? Who? Eh? He's talking about the world. All men, by this, all men know that you are my disciples. If you know, all men, that means those who are unbelievers, the, only, the easiest way for us to show them, to witness to them, is by the love we have for fellow brethren. There are people who refuse to get born again because, because of the way they see Christians behave among themselves. I give an example. I say, Indira Gandhi, Indira Gandhi said, I will have become a Christian, if not for Christians. So Satan, this is very important now, Satan's main job is to drop, into, is to cause divisions, division among us. Is to divide us. Let me show you now. Go to John 15, verse 9. As born again believers, me and you, we can't afford strife. Say we can't afford strife. Want to go? As the Father loved me, I also have loved you. Abide in my love. You know the meaning of, you know the meaning of abide? You know what abide? Is residence. You, 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 is it abode? You know it's abode. Abode, that means where you live. Eh? Hey, you that? Your address, your spiritual address as born again believers. Is your love work. Huh? Are you catching it? Are you catching this thing? Don't let the wish make you sleep. Don't, it, it, this is serious. Are, your address, you have, I don't know about you, some of you have, you have I don't know some of you have uh, houses that, that there's no address. But there's some, of, some of you have houses that have address. Are you aware of that? You can see where's your house? Hey, well, I live in number, number 16. Uh, what is your road? Uh, so, 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 this, uh, by, by this so street. You have your address, where you live. Now, there are some places in Abuja here where there's no address. I mean, they just go, they say, where, where is this place? I can't tell you. Was it, was uh, anything there by, I know there's one no mango tree, but it's in there, but I can't understand. So, there's no particular address. But, but that, that's, that's the unusual now. Where's, normally, I was supposed to have address. Even if it's in a legal building, just go away, the way to do it in Nigeria. Even not, where's, everybody was supposed to have address. Even if it's in a legal place, you supposed to have address. What, what if all those houses in Nigeria don't look good? They can have, they can put address on them. Is it, is it, is it, somebody can trace somebody easily. But some people, because they are, even they are criminal record, they don't want any, they don't want, they have, they have, they have, they have, they have. <laughs> But normally, ideally, you have address of the place you are living. Is that not true? That's the editing now. Not about, most of the time, it's only the editing here. But that's the editing. So your address is where you live, where you're resident. You're in this realm of the spirit, your address is where, you, where your, your love work. You're walking in love. Your love walk is your address. Look at First John. See, the, 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 the thing is this. If, if love walk is so important, and you stepping out of love is so dangerous, it's so, so dangerous that it can cost you. Can cost you, can cost you life, can cost you um, sickness, can cost you, can cost marriage, can cost anything. First John, chapter 1. Verse out of seven. Look at it. This is the message which we have heard from him and declare eh, to you. What? What? Want to go? That God, God is life. And him, there is no what? That's it. So look at verse six. If we say that we have fellowship with him, what? What? what uh, and them and walk in darkness, we lie and not practice the truth. Look at verse seven. But if we walk in the light, as he is in the light, we have fellowship with one another. And the blood of Jesus Christ is not cleansed off from all sin. This is serious. Verse 11. Want to go, want to go. 
But he who hates his brother is in darkness and walks in darkness and does not know where he is going because the darkness has blinded his eyes. Have you ever tried to walk in the darkness? Maybe you went out and then, and then never took light. Never took light. This is very important. Where God is redefining, I'm re-examining my own life. The area where I haven't lived up to expectations. For God to, for God to, same thing with you. Anyway, your life's expectation, for God to show it to you. We are a family of seven. I'm of seven children. My mother had seven, seven of us. And then my father, uh, my father is going to be with the Lord. Now this is, this is, this, this is my family. Okay? My father. My father is the one that is wearing a cap in the middle. My mother is the one that is there. I'm next to my mother. The same, the same clothes with my mother and my, my dad. Okay? Take a closer look. This is, this is, this is my mom, this is my dad. This is me. You can look at me closely. Okay. Yeah, that's it. I look mean. You know that. But that's, that, that, that's, that's me there. Okay? Now here I am, the first boy, the first son. Okay? Beside my, my dad, just next to my dad here, is the one that is next to me. That's my younger sister. Uh, it's comfort. The next to that one is my younger sister in Kaduna. That's a blessing. Next to her, in, 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 uh, this, this is how we, are, how we are born now, for each other. Then the next to her is my other sister who works in NYC. is a, is a, uh, in the Gloria. She works in NYC. Then, 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 Next to that one is uh, this one here by my right, by my left. That's the one. Is is he works out of the is out of the country, you know? Uh, is is Benjamin, okay? And then uh, next to that one is the one that my father is holding somewhere, okay? Then the one I'm holding is the youngest boy. That's the youngest boy. Now this is how. My father had a dream of a family, a, a, a godly family. And then God used my father to do like a rallying point in this family, among, his, among, his, among his siblings. But my father's life was cut short by Satan. And then he had a dream of having a family that is a godly family. And then in our family, in our, in our family is the only family I know around that area that in the morning we do devotions. We pray in the morning and everything. She wanted a, 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 a godly family. And then my father died young. And after my father died, there was the, the enemy came out and attacked us. Satan attacked us with strife. Okay? He attacked us with strife. And then for several years, 30 something years ago, the strife began. You see, we are shifting blame. This one to blame. This one blame that one. And I blame that one. We are, we are to blame each other. But you see, for years, over 30 something years ago, and it's been, it's been a major issue. So now we'll try to resolve it, bring it, come, call them in together and everything. My father was no longer there to oversee the, oversee the family. When you start the shepherd, she will scatter. So now, here we are, here was I, I wasn't born again. And of course I did, I mean, some, some, of the, some of the ways I went about some doing things were not right. And my wife has been worried and bothered about this thing for years. She was not another to do the job. I was in order to do the job. But I was interested. You don't have to go to a train to get angry. Anybody can get angry. Anybody can keep malice. Don't get, anybody can keep malice. But no money book can work in love. And so I was strength is to work in love. My wife got this picture to me. Just check my spirit. In what area have I failed? Because I know my, my father was such a God lover. My father was a, was zealous, was a very zealous man for God. He had tremendous zeal for God. For the kingdom. 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 He didn't know anything about faith. I'm familiar he would have been alive. Even if faith. But he didn't know faith. But he liked to walk in love. But he didn't know anything about faith. Because, you have, see, if you walk in love alone, now you don't have faith, so that can still take advantage of you. You get what I'm saying now? You need to, be able to, you need to, you need to learn faith. But he didn't learn faith. When, he, when they said, I attack his body, he said, that's it. He was going, he was going to go. And he prophesied his own death and died. Because he was ignorant. So here was, I examined myself. Now here I am. A preacher of the gospel. I, my heart condition was not good. You see, his wife said, Lord never fails. I heard that. Lord never fails. 
I don't know of anything that I should have done for my siblings that I didn't do. Are you getting what I'm saying now? That was maybe her physical, her financial. I don't know of anything I didn't do. I've not done. But that's what, it's not about the money and everything. It's about my heart condition now. Are you following what I'm saying now? You know, get it right. It is my heart condition, my heart condition towards my siblings. The horse and pains, perceived horse and perceived pain and bitterness that I didn't recognize. I began to look at my siblings as good people. Are you following what I'm saying? That my, they are good people. They are not bad people. I have a godly family. My, my, my siblings are, is a godly family. We grew up in a godly home. In a, in a, where the father and mother did everything to see the people, show us the way of God. But then, I went my way. I didn't, I wasn't born again. My younger sister, this one here, the one by my, uh, my, my, my father's, uh, uh, is it right now? My father's right, ne- the one next to me. Okay? God born again was the first to get born again. And through her, other ones got born again. Okay? And she, in her own wisdom, tried to get me born again. But because of my, you know, well, no, devil anyway, let me open the devil. I they wasn't ready to, when the strife was on, I didn't really listen to this, it was a summer. So I began to think about it. My people are not bad people. Okay? They are good people. They love God. They love their spouses. And so my heart condition is to change. God doesn't look at the outward. God doesn't look at how much I gave somebody. How much I... No, no, no. He's looking at my heart. God is about the heart. So I'm checking my heart. Because it's out of your heart come the issues of life. I realized that I was wrong. My heart condition was bad. And the moment God opened my eyes to see this thing, I need to address it immediately. Because any attempt to address it can cost me my life. It can cost me anything. It's dangerous. I cannot afford to. If once God showed me, I don't do it immediately. To my wife, this is this is it. I'm checking my spirit. This is what this is it. I I I take responsibility because of my heart condition. It doesn't matter what I've done for them. But I did this one for my because of my heart. My heart condition was not right. So I had to ask God. Remember, let's take communion. Let's take communion. We took communion. We took the communion. We took communion. And then we, I, we asked God for mercy. I was not repenting before God now. Father, I've come before you. I've come to judge myself. I'm sorry. I didn't do right. You know, God is so compassionate. And then, and then, the, and then I we took communion together. And I, I repented. And so I, call, I began to call them one by one. Before God, much more than any other person, much more than any other person, I know my father now. Before God, I have the peace of God. That I have made it right. And I realized that John like Lebanon shared, he said, he said, in your love war, in his own, in his own love war, he said sometimes he thinks he has arrived. I actually thought I've arrived. When it comes to working love, I thought I was kind. I, for myself, I don't listen to myself. You're super. Lodo, you're super. Okay. But I was... <laughs> But I realized I wasn't. And as God shows you light, you walk in the life you have. I loved my siblings. Me and my wife were two common again about two nights ago and everything. We love my siblings. My siblings are good people. They are good people. They are godly people. They love God. They love God. They may not have the kind of doctrine I, I have here, but in their own way, they love God. And I appreciate them. And I appreciate them. You know, praise God. God has forgiven me, and uh, you know, and I believe that you know, uh, you 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 will learn lesson from this one. That is, you see, for us as born again believers, it's not you are not to be controlled by relations. No, no, a thousand times no. Nobody, nobody controls you. But let the Holy Ghost be the one to convict you, huh? And tell you where you are stepping out of line. Where you are stepped out of your love walk. 
Like I said, it's not just about just carrying money and giving. No, 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 no. It's the heart. I'm talking about the heart. You see, what I'm saying is deep. I'm talking about the heart condition that nobody can see except you. See, see except God and you. And is it, you, you, when, when, when Samuel was, was to anoint Jesus' son, David, as king, he, want, he saw Elia before him. And all of that, he said, no, no, no. He said, God does not see as man sees. Man looks at the heart, but God looks at the heart. It is my heart. You can't see my heart. Even me, I didn't even know myself. Until God had to see it. This is really interesting. I mean, I, 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 my joy is full now. I hear about that. Because I'm abiding in the love of God. Look at John 15, 10. John 15, 10. A step out of law is a step into sin. Look at it. If you keep my commandments, you will abide in my law. Look at it. What is your commandment he's talking about? If you go, he just as I kept my father's commandment, commandments and abide in his law. Church, look at this scripture now. We are already down to 14. If you keep my commandment, Pascal, I want to remain in, the, in my address, my spiritual address. Have you ever heard that? Have you ever got a good accommodation in a good location? Huh? If you ever got a good location, you, know, you, know, you want to live there. Is that not so? It's very, it's very, it's a fine place. You have all this there. You don't leave the place. You understand also? I just, see, you can get a conversation that is not good now, physically. It's better for you. No problem. You are going to, you are going to move, move higher. But right now, the most important conversation is spiritual conversation. Are, are you getting what I'm saying now? Because listen, 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 listen now. You can be in a mansion. In a mansion. Praise God. You can live in a mansion and then, and, and be miserable. And be suicidal. You're like, what the video was saying now? You can live in the mansion and be suicidal. You want to commit suicide? You have all the money, all the money, all the money. You want to, you want to, see, and yet you can, somebody can be in a raggedy hut somewhere. But if you are abiding in your spiritual abode, the love of God, guess what happened? In that state, your joy is you. <laughs> Even though you kill him, let's go. You know, you know, <laughs> you are chasing mosquito. You can chase the mosquito and zip it, 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 and zip it. Because you are in the right abode spiritually. And if you are in the right spiritual abode, guess what happened? Other issues of life, like finances, will begin to burst for a second of time. Abide in this world. See, 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 abiding is that residence. Me and you need to take residence. In the love of God. So that every day you are checking your love walk. Every day somebody you drive out, somebody cut traffic to you. See, look, listen, 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 listen. Church, 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 church. Anybody can walk in the flesh. Eh? Are you about that? Walking in the flesh doesn't need training. Are you about that? Just give out to small babies. Small little baby, they just give out to and everything. Eee! If he's hungry, eee! if he's hot, if, if the baby's hot, no teeth. Everything is about the baby. If the baby, the food, oh, but the baby is wet. Eee! 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 You are checking everywhere. Which one is it? This one is it? This one? See, all about the baby. It's natural for me and you to walk in the flesh. You don't need to go to school to learn it. Are you aware that? How many of you went to school to learn how to get angry? They go to school and say they have to get angry. No, no. Ah! Ah! It's a natural thing. And revenge is natural. The flesh wants to get back at somebody. Take a five-year-old or a, a, a 85-year-old. The same flesh. Nobody enjoys being beaten and not revenging. You get what I'm saying now? <laughs> you have to train yourself. <laughs> I was driving to George on uh, was it last 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 Friday? And then somebody brought one old ketimoto and blocked me on the road there. You know what I'm saying? And then they are, they brought the old ketimoto and they are carrying one old chair inside the old moto. And then they saw me. So even if you run there, what do I do? I have a right to say, what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? 
I just quickly off my this my this thing, put off the she put off the motor and everything and this thing, and then lock the motor and quietly left the motor. Give it to the driver here. I don't know how you manage with them. I brought the motor. Do you know what I say now? But I already didn't see a word. Huh? It's not natural. Huh? Because especially when you know you are right. Huh? When you know you are right. There is something about the flesh that wants to get back. Take a small child. Someone say, no, me, I'm so sanctimonious, my flesh, nothing anybody can do. Let's slap you and see. <laughs> <laughs> Let's give you one dirty slap. When they slap you, you feel, what do you feel? You feel good? <laughs> you don't feel good. Are you aware of that? You feel like it's hitting the person back. Or just say, maybe they just, they just, they just, they just, someone just say, waka. You, 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 waka, waka. Take. <laughs> what, 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 what do you feel? <laughs> you don't tell me that, oh, you feel so good. No, no, no. no. <laughs> in even more small, small children, look at the small two children playing. You're a big head. You know, you know, you say, you know, your big, 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 big head. <laughs> he wants to give it back. You see, it's natural. You know, when we are raising our children, when they're very young, we are teaching them how to walk in love. We say, when they curse you, you bless them. So we taught them, we are practicing it. <laughs> so one day, my youngest son, I was like, Daddy, I have been saying, bless you, bless you, this woman. <laughs> Each time they call me, I say, but they keep cursing me. <laughs> ah, he say, what is he going to do? <laughs> he say, I'm, a, I'm a teacher of law. So, I say, you know what? Next step is this. Go to your teacher and report them. Because the, he, he, my son wants to get back somehow. Because it doesn't, why will he just, people order me, we say, they, they curse them, they curse them, but they keep quiet. But if they will cause him to say, bless, bless you, then they keep cursing him more. <laughs> See, that was a way. <laughs> so I said, okay, go to the teacher, man, go to the teacher. Because in society where we live in here, the flesh, fleshly behavior is what you see everywhere. I don't behave anyhow, somebody get angry at me, I don't hide my teeth. If anybody talks to me, I go to anybody, I cannot take, I don't take it, I go talk and back. You are just a baby. Baby, you, you, you. Because anybody can talk back. It doesn't, you don't need power to do that. I hear about that. You don't need power. It's, the way you need power now is that when they provoke you and provoke you. <laughs> May the Lord bless you. Uh, just a minute now. We're going to pray now. <laughs> I do that. My wife used to do for those children when they children were already young. When they provoke and provoke. May the Lord mercy on you. Wait, wait. See, if you, you need to train yourself. You have to live practicing. Practicing to abide in the love. It takes practice. Because, see, when you are provoked, your flesh is like my flesh. I have flesh, I have, you have flesh. Sometimes, if you cannot be the person, you can do face. Have you ever seen these people driving? They're just driving every you know you cannot you cannot you can't do work out. They pass by you and, and, and move close to you and, and roll the window and look at you like this. <laughs> what are they doing? It's flesh. <laughs> they are displaying flesh. <laughs> it's flesh that they display. You get what I'm saying? Then you display flesh that person, that's why you're not you 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 good. Maybe the office you are going to is, is the second there. You say, oh, I, I came to stay, she had the love of God. You say, love of God. <laughs> Is a flesh is a sign of weakness. Fleshly behavior and display is a sign of weakness. It's a sign that you are weak. You are a weak Christian. You don't go to heaven because you are, you, 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 
this but because of what you, 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 you don't get angry, you do this one, you do, I do goody, goody, goody. You know, don't take, don't take your you are, you are walking in love is for your benefit here on earth. Look at it. Look, look, see, see, look at uh, where we're at now. I'm not feeling reading. John chapter 15, yeah, where we're at. We stop at 10. John 15, 10. Let, let's go to 14. And you see the end result here. If you keep my commandments, you will abide in my love. Just as I have kept my father's commandment and abide in his love. I'm not saying it is easy to do. Are you going to say, I'm not saying it's easy to do, but you see, but then that if you, you doing this thing, the, the sign of you being spiritual is not just attendance of church. Or because you blast tongues. It's good to speak in tongues, though. I think you got to say now. Because speaking in tongues, you stand, you stand to, 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 to obey. If you speak, if you're able to speak in tongues, you can build yourself properly and you can obey this thing. But those are good things and everything. Being in church, doing this thing. That, but the real, the, the real emblem, the real yastic that you are a spiritual giant is being over, walking along. That is the highest Ah, yes, because most people cannot do it. Let's read on. Let's read on. Read on. Read on. Read on. See, this is I have spoken to you that 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 my joy may remain in you, and that your joy may be full. All of us want full joy. Is that not so? Yes, want full joy. This is my commandment: that you love one another as I have loved you. That is why it is a tall order. As Jesus loves us, He knew we were going to mess up. He loves us. He said, greater love has no one than this, than to lay down one's life for his friends. You are my friends. If you do whatever I command you. And what am I saying? This is Jesus speaking now. This is Jesus speaking. You will never know how many people are in the grave right now. Their, their, their bodies are in the grave right now. Some of them are in the mug, are in the mortuary right now. Because they can't obey the love command. Born again believer. Spirit free. Tongue talking. Their bodies are lying, they are, they are lying in the morgue, in the mortuary. Some of them have just been buried recently. And because they can't walk in law, born again. The devil, that demon, Satan, he is doing everything to divide the believers. Because he knows that you stepping out of law is stepping out of God. Do you know that God is law? God, you know God is law? So any step out of love is a step out of God. And it makes you a prime target of disease, a prime target of poverty, a prime target of premature death, a prime target of the issues of life. You can't afford it. So many the time when me and my wife go to some challenge in the marriage and I say, look, we, we tell each other, we can't afford this strife. It's too expensive for us. Strife is too expensive for this family. We can't afford it too. So if it's in, I may lose my head. You could not lose your head at the same time. Maybe they say, Father, help us, help us. Say that I bind you this out. I bind this rattlesnake here. You can't stay in this house. Go from us. No killers. The devil is a killer. And he can't kill you unless he first of all inject this thing. See, this, this walking in love, walking in strife, is such an effective tool in Satan's time to kill believers. Because you just simply step out of love to Satan's territory and he kills you. He doesn't, he, he didn't make any effort. What are causing division between the two of you? You see, do you know how many people right now, as I'm, as I'm speaking, their finances are dry. Their finances are dry because of strife. This is serious matter. Look at it now. See it. Look at what I did. This is, we are owing this thing to every born again believer and we can't afford not to pay. Look what I did. Verse 8. Hmm? Verse 8 and then verse 9, 9 to 10. Look at verse 8 first, then we'll do 9 to 10. Eh? This is serious. So somebody say, well, you know, if, if somebody come to apologize, I will forgive him. If he doesn't apologize, I cannot forgive somebody that apologize to me. You are not doing forgiveness now. You are doing for selling. You know for selling? You say, if you apologize, you pay me, make I pay you. <laughs> give me apology now. I will give you forgiveness. You are not giving forgiving it. You are selling it. It's for sale. You are trading. What do you go? Oh, no one, anything, except to love one another. For he who loves another has fulfilled the law. This is the fulfillment of law, George. Huh? 
For the government, for the, the government, you shall not commit adultery, you shall not murder, you shall not steal, you shall not be a false witness, you shall not covet, and if there's any other commandment, I hope someone in this thing. Namely, you shall love your neighbor as yourself. What's your neighbor? Anyone close by. Anyone close by. Your husband, your man is not close by, he may not be your neighbor. Because it's too far away. <laughs> but if you still your neighbor, but it's a far, it's a far neighbor. Love does no harm to his neighbor. Therefore, love is one of the law. The word neighbor is nearby. The word neighbor means nearby. Do you get it now? Nearby. See, you see, many people, because of that, this thing, they just, they just, they just they take, 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 divorce, take that divorce. The old man goes to America and stays there. The wife is in Nigeria. So, when he, when he, when he phone me, phone me, when he didn't get out, I have phone. I can move up, to move back. At least I don't go talk to I have some, some, some kind of peace. It's not actually peace, it's graveyard peace. Graveyard peace. See, lack of love, lack of love. When there's no, see, the, that's why, the, have you ever found out why husband and wife, there's so much quarreling? It is ordinary. No, it's ordinary. The enemy is putting pressure. Mosoki. Mosoki poor. So he put pressure on you to get angry. He put it on your emotion, on your emotion. Neighbor, love, neighbor, love your neighbor nearby, nearby. Somebody that's nearby. It's difficult, it's difficult for somebody in Soko to come and offend you that you didn't know. I heard that. Is there somebody, somebody in, a, in, a, in, a, in a, see, if you're busy, people just get, see, people, see, people get angry and angry and, and then you speak worse out of your, out of your mouth, mean anger. You people get provoked easily. Hmm? Me and my wife, we're going to, we're going to immigration last week. No, no, was it last, last, was it Thursday, last Thursday, last Thursday, I died with immigration. And there was the president was passing by, so they blocked traffic. They blocked traffic, eh? Now, you see, you see, you see the one guy close to us. He drove by us and everything. And then they wound down the glass, and then talking to us. What kind of country is this? A square broad, and the president had the same, same train with the president here. The president is going to hear him. Are you getting what I'm saying now? President can hear what he's saying in that place. He what he's doing is releasing his anger. And he wants us to be part of the thing that we that will receive it. <laughs> you, get, you get what I'm saying now? So the person you are protesting against is not even, is not even hearing you. Are, you. are you getting what I'm saying now? The president cannot hear you. He's so far away. Huh? He doesn't know that you are getting angry at the traffic. Anybody can throw tantrums. Are you getting what I'm saying now? But do you know what me and me and you want to do? This through these teachers we are doing is that as, as a church, we are coming up higher. Amen. We're coming up higher. Amen. Because see, we cannot allow the enemy to make a mess of our life, of our spiritual life. We want to make allow the enemy to make up make, 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 of, of our marriage, or mess up, make a mess of, of our children, make a mess of our, of our finances, make a mess of our body. We can't afford it. Somebody can say, Well, I I I don't really Hate him, but I don't like him. You are not forgiveness. You are not forgiveness. <laughs> eh? Look at it then. He say, "Oh no!" He say, "Oh no, ma'am." Anything except, except, except law. That means it is a debt you can never finish paying. Are you that? It, law is a debt you can never finish paying. Huh? Look at Romans chapter twelve, twelve, seventeen. Romans twelve, seventeen. This is serious. We should be constrained by law. Man, you should be constrained. Law should, it should, it should, it should constrain us. Romans 12, 17. And then 7, 5, 5, 5, 5, 14. Want to go? Repay no evil for evil. Have regard for good things in the sight of all men. Repay no evil for evil. Uh, my darling husband, is he, you do want anything? No, thanks. You know, you know what they are doing? You are paying the person back. <laughs> you are repaying the evil he has done to you. And I, I, it's easy. Look, look, look. I have been guilty of this. Are oh. you following what I'm saying right now? I'm not going to say I'm the holier than that sanctimonious man. I have been guilty. That's why I share part of, part of my part of the guilt I'm guilty of before you. But we can all remain guilty forever. Man, you are coming up. So that when you, and you know, when you want, when you are in the flesh, you want to be in the flesh. Ah! The flesh is so sweet sometimes. We call it revenge is sweet. When, it's, when you are showing him shaggy, 
you feel it. 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 See, there are people who, 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 who work with people and then they, they withdraw their support for them so they can feel it. You want to withdraw their support. Some people are walking in somebody's house and they walk in somebody's house and then you, you pull out the person's house. The reason why you pull out is because when I go, they will feel it. They may feel it truly. But you know what? At the end of the day, you're going to feel it worse. Because a step out of love is a step out of God. Huh? Look, I have to go to 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 14. Hmm? He said, don't repay me for evil. Let something, something will constrain you. Something will have to constrain you. Watch this morning. I want us to be constrained by the love of God. We want to go. For the love of Christ compares us. Because we judge us that if one died for all, then all died. See, the, that, that first part is for the love of God compares. I want us to be compared by the love of God. To be constrained or compared by the love of God. Somebody you don't want to, you don't want to talk to, you don't want to talk to, you don't want to talk to. Huh? Huh? Uh, how are you? I'm fine. Thank you. And the person, you want to abuse the person, somebody just said to you, you know what? Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. You will compare. God loves you. <laughs> you see what I say now? Excuse me. I want to leave now. Run. Because you're angry. You're angry. You have to go somewhere. I say, Father, you know I don't like this man. <laughs> but, <laughs> but I'm constrained by your love. <laughs> do, do, do you get what I say now? You see, I'm constrained by your love. You know, there was a young couple that was under me in that time, in my child. They had just one child. And the only child they had, they had, they had, they had clashes, you know, these two issues, what and wife matter issues and everything. It was a heavy one. But that particular day, the, the wife, wife was, was working somewhere, was actually student, student schooling, has been doing master's degree somewhere. And then he, she, the, he was, they were visit, he was visiting, she was about to go back. The stride was so heavy, she, she, she was going to leave before time. She went to the garage looking for a vehicle and everything. That one, you see, that one was constrained by a lot to go look for her. She pushed her to the garage and everything. What the two guys, two guys there, they were really concerned. Just stay when I go, don't go in this kind of anger. That overnight she stayed was the day she got pregnant. She got pregnant of the only child they have. She couldn't take him again. The only child they had, it was the day she got pregnant. And what I'm telling you is saying this. You don't know what walking in law, in walking out of law will cost you. I said I will hide it from you. You will hide it from you. Because it's a strict star. But the, the moment God opens your eyes, I want to go to this, this, this service now. He's opening me and your eyes. So that there are issues that you are dragging. You are dragging. Just like I was, me and my wife, because sometimes I was, I wonder there's an issue going on. It's like you strike a match and put inside the forest. And the print is burning and burning and burning house, burning everything. By the time you're looking for that, that stick of match, you can't find it again. I yeah, was that. The stick is burnt. You cannot even find the trace of it, but you have seen the effect that lay behind. Colossal damage. How many boys husband have been buried? Wife buried. Children buried. Over an insignificant thing, like maybe you put more salt in the, salt in the, in the you put more salt in the, in the soup. Eh? Yeah. So I put something in the food. Uh, yeah. Your mama cannot cook past me. My mama cannot... This is all issues that are not necessary. Church. My father, my mother has a big cook past you. Your mother is not here now. To do the cooking. There are things that we allow Satan to because of because of our own development spirit. We are not developing our spirit. So we are so carnal. Do you know that it is virtue to overlook transgression? It's virtue. It's virtue.
Yo lo voy a translation. But your flesh doesn't like it. Ah! You need to overlook it. Ah! I don't go talk back. Not even one word. Ah! Make a joke. Give her one word. Just one word. This is my old man. The mouth not is all. Just one word. Oh! Then you leave. If that one word will cause you problem. You want to release it? You better keep it. You say, hey, it, 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 don't again believe for a man. You must talk this to this man. This man was here this morning. Before. You don't talk it. Go and talk on inside inside the inside the room by yourself. It is virtue to overlook offense. My brother, my sister, since I started calling my young my siblings and start talking with them, I guess my joy is getting fuller. My joy is getting fuller. Look at Proverbs seventeen thirteen. Me and you, I will not. Me and you will not be used to cause strife. We are not going to cause strife. We are not going to be used to by the enemy to cause disaffection. In Jesus' name. Amen. And when we mistakenly do it, we are going to be quick to repent.
Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That is why we can take the journey of ego, Christian, Christian voice of victory. victory. We have plenty of messages, lots of messages. Amen. But then the, the issue is time. Amen. This is the time. This message. This is the small time we have to spend on this one. This radio this telecast. My belief is that hear me now. If you are not yet born again, and you have some of you have heard us on telecast, some of you are here for the for the, this is the first day of listening to us. You need to get saved. Amen. You know, cross of that life. I mean, I see you say finish what another one. Jesus paid the price. Amen. He paid the price by he shed this blood for you. Amen. He died for you. I was buried three days on, 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 in the grave and he lost your justification. Amen. If you simply put your faith in him, you escape hell forever. Amen. There's a hell to shown on the heaven again. And your going to heaven is not based on your good works, whether you do good or you don't do anything good. It does it's not what you do, it's you believing in your heart. I'm, I'm confessing no matter I get you born again. Mm. Because people are believing errors. They believe errors, they believe if you give arms to the poor, if, if you don't put if you don't put on power, if you don't put on we won, if you don't wear trousers, or just crazy thoughts, the lying, 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 lying doctrines. Your going to heaven is based on the on the shed blood of Jesus. Mm. So if you want to be sure, 100% sure of this eternal, eternal destiny, open your mouth now and, and say this and mean it to heart. Say, dear God. Dear God. I believe in my heart. I believe in my heart. And I close my mouth. And I confess it to my mouth. Jesus. 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 You are the son of God. You are the son of God. Come into my life right now. Come into my life. I believe. I believe. You died for me, Jesus. You died for me. And you were raised. And you were raised. For my justification. For my justification. I turn my life over to you. I turn my life over to you. From today. From today. I belong to Jesus. I belong to Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. For saving me. For saving me. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. If you said that simple prayer and you met with your heart, you have cross from death to life forever. Amen. You are forever saved. Praise Amen. God. The next thing is if you are sick in your body, sin is attacking your body with some kind of crazy symptoms. Mm. We we want to use the name of Jesus Christ to knock off that sickness Amen. because Jesus already paid the price for it Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. So right now, tell you how you are sick in your body right now. Is in, in the name? Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Be healed. That's right. And delivered. Yes. In Jesus' name. It's done. Say I'm here. I'm here. I'm free. I'm free. Body. Body. Take side with the world. Take side with the Obey world. the word of God. Obey the word of God. You are here. You are here. In Jesus' name. In Jesus now, if you believe that now, what if you start doing what you couldn't do before? Mm. Start doing what you couldn't do. You need to act on your faith one way or the other. Okay? Now, here the next thing is to look for a living church. A vibrant church. There are churches that are good, there are bad ones. But you need God to open your eyes to see. So my uh, my prayer here is that is that you go open your eyes to that you can identify a, the right church for you. Amen. And get involved. We love you and God loves you. Bye-bye.